planner friends, it is time to get my planner all set up and ready to go for the month of October. And I'm gonna share that process with you guys. So the current spread that we're gonna work on, the monthly spread here is for my catch-all planner. And the sticky notes that are on there, I went ahead and I've pre-planned out my work schedule so I know what I'm doing like when I, when I work, other than the days that I pick up. So I already did that and you'll see here um, soon I add in, actually I think it's more towards the end of the spread, but I add in some other things that my son has going on and that my husband has going on. So you'll see me add some other things, but I already did a little bit of pre-planning ahead of time to get my schedule all ready to go. Now, um, if you're new to planning and you're like, wait, what is a catch-all planner? Well, it can be different for everybody, but for me, my catch-all planner is kind of my main hub. So this is where the most important things are going. So my work schedule, anything pertaining to my husband, my son, or our new puppy goes inside of here. My checklist that I create, um, just all the things basically other than social media and fitness go inside of this planner. So that's what a catch-all planner is for me. It could mean something totally different to somebody else. And then the other thing I want to mention is y'all, you know how... You know how we get like a little bit obsessed with like happy planner stuff when we buy like all the planners, all the stickers, all the things, right? Well, I've kind of went down this rabbit hole of memory keeping supplies. So for a long time, I've really wanted to dive fully into memory keeping. And I have some stuff from the happy planner, like I have a, a couple of memory keepers and things and some different um, accessories that the happy planner has it's for memory keeping but like I've wanted to go in all in for a couple of years now and I've been saving up money and working hard to where I could do just that and I've I've uh, I've got some stamps now you guys I got a lot of stamps so be watching because I have a couple of haul videos but I've been wanting to do stamping inside of memory keeping so I've ordered some stamps I've got those in I've got some other embellishments and different little things and I'm gonna start incorporating those things into my planner as well because I'm just stoked about it I've become obsessed I've been watching tons of YouTube videos um, when I get on Instagram I go straight to the search bar and I start searching memory keeping stuff <laughs> like you guys know how that obsession is like with our happy planner stuff well it's the same thing here with memory keeping and this particular stamps that I'm using now this one I got I picked it up the other day at Hobby Lobby um, and I it's just a like texture stamp and I thought that this particular stamp that I used was perfect for Halloween so did a little bit of stamping I think I add some more stamps here in just a few I'm not for sure to be honest with you but stamping and decorating it and getting it set up for the month I know it's cut off down at the bottom and it's really hard to see and I apologize for that but the beware stamp and like the little pumpkin and stuff I got those ones from were those Allie Edwards stamps hold on let me double check let me flip through these real quick no I think that those ones came from hold on let me get them here here they are those ones are from Heidi Swap. Um, so I found she's got some awesome stamps too. So does Allie Edwards. I love both of their um, their stuff that they have. But those particular stamps like the Beware one, the cute little pumpkin and stuff, those are from Heidi Swap. If you're wanting to get some Halloween stamps, like seriously, order them. I have um, missed out on quite a few things and it's only, what, the 5th of October and I've already missed out on quite a few things because it's already sold out. I didn't realize it. I should have known this. It's just like with planner stuff, things come out way ahead of time and I should have been looking for, you know, Halloween stuff in summer, I guess. Um, same thing with Christmas. I've seen that a lot of Christmas things are coming out. Actually, quite a few Christmas things that I was wanting to get for memory keeping is already sold out. So I did order some other stuff for Christmas. So just a heads up, if you're wanting to get, if there's any type of particular stamps or stickers or anything that are um, especially seasonal, order them now before they're sold out because I don't want you to miss out on those things. So um, the stamps that I'm using are from Heidi Swap and then that 
other stamp set that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I think the brand of that is like Go Bunny or something weird. I don't know, to be honest with you. And then, of course, I have my Happy Planner stickers. For stickers, if I didn't mention this already, I have, um, I just got in my order from the Happy Planner for the fall release. So I have the Halloween sticker book, the fall sticker book, and the seasonal sticker book. And kind of using a combination of all of those. And then here, I'll start pulling up the sticky notes and start filling in my work schedule for the month. Okay, my work schedule is all filled in. And then October the 1st through the 3rd, my son had a camp for Cub Scouts. And I'm kind of doing a little bit of mini back planning here. I'm going to add in some washi to note that um, his Cub Scout camp was that weekend. Here I'm adding in some little stickers to note that my son has his uh, Cub Scout meetings on Mondays. So putting stickers down to note that. And again, this is where I add in a few other things. My husband has a golf tournament one day. Um, I think I added picture day for my son for school in here. I don't honestly remember if I did or not. I have to look back to remember that. But just adding in some of those other things that are kind of set in stone already for sure going to happen. Now, if there's things that I don't know for sure if it's going to happen, kind of like a maybe, typically what I do with that is I'll take like a sticky note, I write it on the sticky note, and then I set it off to the side. Like I'll stick it in the monthly section, but just it's just on a sticky note because it's not permanent. And then I try to date it as well. So that's kind of how I do that. And then if something does change, I, um, I can change it out with a sticky note. Or if it does become permanent, I can just go ahead and write it in. Now, for anything Cub Scout pertaining... Um, you guys can see I use the same stickers, like there's the one, two, three, there's the four there on Monday, and then also on Saturday on the right side, there's that one sticker, and, and that kind of helps, like when I do things like my work schedule or things for my son and for Cub Scouts or whatever, I try to use the same types of stickers, like see, you guys can see like for my work schedule, I have all the circle stickers for Cub Scouts or all of those little um, diamond stickers, so it just makes it easy to kind of look for to find what you're looking for as soon as you flip your planner open if I'm looking for something for Cub Scouts I know exactly what sticker to look at uh, so I try to keep things the same and then here I'm just going back in and adding a little bit more decor just to kind of tie it all in and as the month goes I will add things in there whether it's on a sticky note because it's like I said temporary or if it's something permanent and sometimes I will go back and do a little bit of back cleaning for things that happened that I maybe didn't get a write down or whatever. Sometimes I do do that, not often, but sometimes. For the gray noted sticker on the left side, um, 
it just kind of depends on what I use. I usually have some type of sticker like that on the left side. Sometimes I use them, sometimes I leave them blank. But when I do use them, sometimes it's for things that I want to get done that month that I don't necessarily know when. So for example, right now, what, what I'm wanting to do is get some plywood and put it in our attic and get it all screwed down so then we have more space for storage because our attic we don't, right now we're using like a little tiny corner for storage so it's got like decorations and things like that up there and I, it's it's full and we need to expand that and we have an entire attic so I want to do that I don't know when I'm going to do it in the month of October October is the perfect month because it's not too cold outside but it's also not too hot so we won't freeze to death in the attic or have a heat stroke <laughs> But I do want to do it sometime during the month. Another thing that we want to do, we have a building and um, it's just become a hodgepodge of, of craziness out there and it needs to be cleaned out. So I want to do that sometime during the month. I just don't know when. So sometimes I use it just like that for projects that we're doing throughout the month. It might be just a quick reminder. I don't know. It just, it just kind of depends. And like I said, sometimes I leave them blank and I don't fill it in at all. But here, all I'm doing is flipping through the sticker books. That's really a lot of this process, honestly, is just flipping, trying to find stickers that are going to work, trying to keep it with the theme that I'm going with. Um, and then, like I said here, I'm just adding in some of those extra things that I know that we have going on. So that's going to be the setup for my catch-all planner. This is part one. So if you want to see how I set up the month of my social media planner, and I think I do a weekly spread, maybe. I don't remember if I filmed it, so I might just be kidding right there. <laughs> um, but if you guys want to see that, make sure you watch part two. I broke this up into a two-part series because if not, the video was going to be like 30-some minutes long, which is just crazy. So I wanted to break that up. The planner, this part right here with all the yellow sticky notes, that's my fitness planner. I was going to film setting it up, but honestly, uh, ugh, that's just what I think about that right now. Ugh, not, not yet. So I just left the sticky notes there and um, moved on from there. But here you can see a little sneak peek of the monthly section of my social media planner. So make sure you guys watch part two and you can see how I set that up and I'll give you some little tips and information on how I plan for YouTube videos for the month. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.